hey thanks for checking out the video if you all like it please like and subscribe and uh hope you all enjoy it have a great rest of the day but we are militia this weekend and we do regular live what we're, what we're going to do is, is uh, can I get a soldier up here? If you show him, he's got a, remember I said you had to have a weapon, you had to have ammunition. you got to remember, members of the militia, they might have a brown vest that was left over from the French City War. They might have a shotgun, what they call Fowlers. They might have like a Kentucky rifle. So the reason they had to have uh, ammunition is that there's no way a quartermaster could come up with the ammunition if you had 20 guys and 20 different civilian arms it would be impossible to resupply them. So that's why they had to show up with with uh, their own ammunition. He has, he has a canteen which he carried in water. He had a cartridge box. Cartridge box. And this is what the round looks like. And the ball of this end, the powder here, and what the tail was, is that when you went to load your musket, you would tear it to prime it. You'll see this in a few minutes. These are paper. What happens when it rains? If these get wet, it isn't going to work. So that's why you have a cartridge box. And that's a flat. Turn around. He's wearing what they call a sleeve waistcoat, a trouser. Some of us are wearing knee breeches, wearing trouser. Buckle shoes, and he's wearing what they call a round hat. And this is when he would show up. This is probably what he wore at home. Work, what is your profession? A brewer. That's why we. That's why he's in our company. Like <laughs> 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 the best home brewed beer that you can come across. What we're going to do now we'll is show in. you we'll how in. these weapons operate. There are distinct steps that you have to do in order, in order for the things to operate on. If you reverse some of the steps, you need to put the, the ball in before you put the powder in. Frank, go ahead and turn around so they can do, we'll do it by the numbers. Okay, the sergeant, the, the, there, there are two ways you can load these. You can do it by the numbers, which each step is a, is a distinct step. So everybody doing the same thing, and in battle you would have private load, which they do the whole thing on their own. Let's go through the steps. Prepare the private load. What they're doing is they're, they're putting their musket off their shoulder, and then they're going into their cartridge box. Cartridge. And they're going to take out a cartridge. They're going to prime. Tear the cartridge, you have to put some powder in the pan. And then you, and then, then, then you have a frizzin which you close, and that frizzin is case hard, so when the flint hits the, the frizzin, it causes a spark which goes into the pan, which there's a hole in the side of the barrel, and that sets off the main charge. Now what they've done, they put the powder in first. You want to put the powder in first, not the ball. Now they're going to ram the ball down to the breach of the musket. Return, now they're ready to fire. Just a couple of things. Have you ever heard the term lock, stock, and barrel? And in modern terms, what does that mean? I lost the lock, stock, and barrel. It means everything's gone. Because the musket has a lock, has a stock, and a barrel. You ever hear the term, he was just a flash in the pan? That means that the, the pan charge went off, but the main charge didn't, so it was absolutely not worth it. Okay? These muskets have a half cock position, which is it's what it's on when they're loaded it, and you can try to pull the trigger, but it's a safety. You ever hear the term, don't go off half cock? This all goes back to the American Revolution. <laughs> Now they're going to fire. You might want to cover your ears because it is loud. I hear it. Freeze it! Freeze it! Freeze it! Freeze it! Fire! Now they're going to private load. Private load! Is it cool again? As the captain, I, I 
did not carry a weapon yeah. because that is my weapon. My men are my weapon. If I'm shooting, I'm not paying attention. Now I would, you know, I know you carry a weapon for a big small part that I have something. We're going to fire again. Thank you very much. Uh, the, there will be another presentation at 1.30 and the, and the battle will be 